I hope I don't get a committed for this. <laughs> this is very political in nature. Now, I'm not one to um, write thematic or current events or uh, type poetry, mimic reality type. I'm not one to do that. It's it's not something I I, I, I particularly care to do or uh, like doing, but I kind of was egged on to do it by H.A. Um, uh, H. Um, Goodman. So here it is, H.A. It is for you. This is called Diner Number Four. Um, the Sphincter. Here it is. I was hungry this morning. I felt like ordering a bucket of losers. So I stopped at the all-night diner called the Royal Clintonian Sphincter, which is open only to limousine liberals, Wall Street walrus dicks, and every cyber miscreant on the planet. <laughs> I saw a sign on the door. No sausages today. The sausage maker is kaput. But inside, on the menu board, it read, Special today. Wieners. One. Millimeter Peter Wieners. Or two. Special Access Program Intelligence Wieners. Both served with a side of creamy anal risotto and a cocktail of bodily fluids. The busboy Carlos Danger was sure to place the pubic hair condiments at each table. My waiter, Podesta, brought the tray of wieners to my table, then stepped onto the table, pulled down his black pants, bent himself over, and excreted the creamy risotto. Upon finishing my sumptuous meal, Podesta laid the $25 million check on the table. I then presented the check to hostess Cruella Clinton, who returned my change, which was the gizzards of Syrian children, the sweat, tears, and blood of Haitian parents, and the backbone of mass media. I left Podesta a tip. A porcine testicles from a certain Midwest senator. I left Carlos Danger a tip. A 80-gallon drum of saltpeter and membership uh, to Marcus Bachman's Aversion Therapy Institute. I slithered off into that psychotic Republican night. Thank you for watching.